Welcome to episode number three of CRT Gaming. And uh, today we are going to play Castlevania Chronicles. And this was a request from Joshua Moore, a longtime subscriber and friend to the uh, Poor Man's Retro Game Room. And by the way, I am going to put a link to Joshua Moore's YouTube channel in the description. Um, he's a new creator. And, uh, you know, if you go watch any of his videos, the one thing you're going to be insured of is watching a video of somebody who's passionate about retro gaming and who actually plays and is a retro gamer. So uh, check out some of his stuff. Um, and he's putting new content up there. He's on a roll today. There was a couple of new videos that he posted today. Um, good videos. So... Thank you, Joshua Moore, for requesting Castlevania Chronicles. Um, we're playing today on a original PlayStation 1, and the scan lines today are brought to you by the Sony Trinitron. So we are playing this on the Sony Trinitron. Um, you know, I made a few adjustments to the picture and, and a few things, so we're going to try this out. And as, if you've watched any of the other episodes, you know that I'm still kind of tweaking and trying to see, uh, you know, what we need to do to get the best results. Alright, so, Castlevania Chronicles. Um, as you can see by this intro, uh, it's pretty spooky, it's pretty creepy, and it's pretty cool. Uh, Castlevania Chronicles is a um, port of a game that was released for the Sharp X68000. Man, I hope I get that right. Home computer. Uh, it was a remake of the original Castlevania that um, was released on the NES. And uh, this Castlevania Chronicles for the PlayStation 1 actually has the original, and it has an arranged mode. We're going to be playing the arranged mode, and uh, you can put, I think you can bump your lives up to five, so I went ahead and did that. Um, and so, yeah, uh, I've played a little bit of this. Um, wouldn't say I put a lot of time into it, so let's hope we're not rusty. As you see that lightning strike smash that tree right there, that's pretty awesome, isn't it? Um, this is a really good game, and one of the things that I really remember about this game is the soundtrack. It is amazing. Um, you know, a lot of PlayStation games had great soundtracks, but the way they uh, the arrangements of some of the Castlevania scores in this game is just excellent. Um, and you can see by, you know, uh, the gameplay here that it resembles, but as, you know, much better graphics than the NES version. Uh, the one thing that you can do is you can kind of change your directions mid-air, so uh, that momentum thing is, has, is different. And I'm, one, I'm not... Now that I think about it, I don't know if it's different on the original or not, or if that's just an arranged mode um, option. I'm not sure. But, um, I did notice that uh, you are able to kind of change your directions. And, um, the momentum doesn't just, you know, carry you <laughs> like a bag of sand. Um, some people like that. I kind of like the uh, later Castlevanias, and I love all the Castlevania games, honestly, seriously. And the only one I really haven't played is Castlevania 64. Um, but you can see a few things here. I picked up an item, and it's a healing herb. So uh, you can actually heal yourself, and it'll use hearts, you know, your ammo. Uh, just like you know, the classic Castlevania formula. Uh, your hearts are your ammo, and um, man, this game can throw a lot at you, and the respawning enemies are uh, pretty crazy. And the other thing that I, I don't know if it was annoying a little bit, um, is, you know, the steps, and, and that's just part of Castlevania, though. So going up and down the steps on this game uh, really does take you back to the original uh, NES. Castlevania. Um, yeah. <laughs> Throwing a lot of stuff at you uh, right off the bat. But uh, sound effects, graphics, um, 
really, this is a solid Castlevania game. I haven't beat this game, so I, you know I'm not going to know about the later levels. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to play till I die once. So we're just going to see how long, how far I can get. Um, I certainly am not an expert at this game, but I really, really enjoy playing it. I haven't played a lot of it, but I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to put some more time into this game. It is a lot of fun. Um, I'm having fun right now, man. So. And I mean, you know, the color palette is very good. Now, the color palette, if you were to play the original, it's a different color palette. So you can kind of tell when you're playing in the arranged mode. And in the arranged mode, um, I guess one of the uh, selling points for the, the arranged mode is you can unlock art, like art in the art gallery and stuff like that. And you can unlock a, a time attack uh, level as well. Or whatever you'd want to call that option, I guess. Um, so that's kind of different. Now this uh, boss here, you'll notice, of course, the similarities to the original Castlevania. Um, but it's a little different. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cool though, and it does appear that the axe is going to be the best weapon for him, just like in the original Castlevania. It was always my favorite weapon to use against that first boss of that, so, oh man, should have jumped on the, jumped over the uh, steps right there, but I didn't, that's alright, you got him. One more good hit. There we go. Yeah, so all this is going to seem familiar. Um, I'm really, I'm really enjoying this, though. I, I am, and I remember really enjoying playing it. But you know, man, sometimes you you just got so many options to play, and you just don't put a lot of time into a game that you really want to so it's you know it's kind of on my backlog of games that I'd like to uh, pursue pursue further wow I really like the map screen too when that come up that's that's pretty sweet and I'm pretty sure unless I was dreaming one time when I was playing it I found a dude where you could uh, you could actually buy items from him so it was kinda like a little store um, I don't know we'll see if I run into him because I thought it was on this level but I don't know could be wrong yeah I don't know you know these these things here they always kind of uh, annoy me just because you gotta yeah, you gotta smack them like crazy to, get them to separate so you can go through them. <laughs> and of course they're going to throw the bats at you like crazy too. Oh man, I just about forgot about that. Doing too bad, really. Honestly, I'm I'm pretty rusty, and it's been a while, so um, yeah, and I'm not doing too bad yet. It does get a little tougher in the later stages now. Um, yeah, they're throwing uh, throwing a lot of stuff at you. I really like the uh, parallax scrolling though, the background scrolling, excellent. And this bone thing here, the bones of the dragon, man, that's pretty cool too. All the graphics are, are decent, man. And I will tell you that, uh, man, you're looking to buy this game now, uh, you better be ready to shell out some money. I am playing a backup copy on my chipped original PlayStation. Now I do own this game on my PS3 as a digital download from the PlayStation Store as a PlayStation 1 classic game. 
And that is, if it's still available on the storefront, that's the best way to get it. I think it was 10 bucks or something like that. So, you know, that that's a good way to play it. And they these old classics, um, the digital downloads on the PlayStation 3 play great. They do. Yeah, you got a duck here. And this is... To, I don't know. We'll see if I can do this here. I'm hoping that I can get at least past this boss without dying once. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. It's a little hairy here. The best thing to do is to duck and avoid them. Uh, the projectiles coming at you from the front and back. So. Hopefully I'll have enough life left over. And you got to do a little bit of jumping here. Um, and you got to kind of do it fairly quick, I think. Yep. Yep. Alright, not bad at all, man. Not bad at all. And I remember just kind of trying to stay on the outer edge of this plank, this raft. And got to fight a fire breathing dragon, the second boss. I mean, you can't complain about that. That's pretty cool. Alright, well, not bad. See, uh, see about the next level here. I don't want these to be too long, um, and I'm I'm pretty sure this next level gets pretty rough, so it probably won't be that long of an episode. <laughs> we'll see. I'm I'm fairly happy with my performance so far. <laughs> yeah, that's just cool, man. That map looks cool. I'm really glad that they ported this to the PlayStation so we could see a different version of uh, Castlevania. And usually I walk right into these dudes. <laughs> like that. <laughs> and these, you gotta hit them on, un on the underbelly. You can hit them on the... Like, while they're stand when they're standing up, you can hit their underbelly. And Oh man, no. Oh. This is the most annoying part of this, and I'm just gonna do my best to get through this part. Yeah, and I kind of made a mistake. I should have just kept going. I just need to keep going. Slow down and kind of let them catch up on me. Oh man. Yep. Alright, learn from my mistakes. Don't be indecisive on those water bubble parts. Keep running, keep going. Too, actually. <laughs> it's never fun having an arrow stuck through your foot in your head. Probably a trick to beating these guys really easily that I'm not taking advantage of. That's a trick, run away from them. Quicksand and hopping frogs. I mean, with what four bars of life? Okay, three. Oh man! I can't spawn them right under my feet. Always got the bats to worry about, right? 
Ice level coming up. Yep. Now you can whip down, straight down. If you jump up and whip straight down, you can break those different types of blocks there. And I do remember the first time playing this, I kind of got stuck there. I'm like, what am I supposed to do here? And I think those blocks eventually break after a time limit. But I took me a while to figure that out. And one sliver of life. Okay, so when you jump on here, you want to nil. You do not want to jump into those spikes because they will kill you. The spikes up top, you want to get past those before you jump. Uh, nope. Alright, so you know that was a pretty decent sample of gameplay for uh, Castlevania Chronicles. I want to thank you guys for joining me today and I hope you have a great and safe rest of your day.